Here is a universal jig. This jig is capable of handling up to a 36 inch long board, 14 and a half inch width, and a thickness anywhere between an inch and a half down to a half inch thick. Now this jig is constructed from one piece of material, measures 15 inches wide by 48 inches long. The material thickness is a half inch, it can be made from MDF or plywood, any flat material. Once the part is, uh, or the project cut, proceed to uh, remove the tabs and separate all of the pieces. Once those pieces have been removed, go ahead and sand down tabs. Once we've got that done, we go ahead and proceed to cut the ends off. These are gonna become the bottom plates of the jig. Once you have those separated, we can go ahead and build up the jig. All right, once we've got the uh, pieces cut out, uh, the tab sanded down, then we need to go ahead and glue it together. So the two holes are the front of the jig. So we're gonna wanna make them so that they're uh, two pieces. So we're gonna glue to the inside. We'll go ahead and use the, the straight edge, the one that didn't have the tabs. Go ahead and glue that on there. We need to make sure that it stays perfectly straight. All right, once you've got your sides glued up, made sure that they were good and square and that the, both sides are parallel to each other. Then we're gonna go ahead and assemble up the rest of the hardware. We'll glue in the headstock blocks, these two pieces here. The lead screws, we've got a nut and a washer on either side so that those are locked in place. On the far side, we just have a nut with a washer. The outside, we've got the wing nuts with the, a lock washer and the washer. Now note, there is only a nut on the bottom side. When we mount the board, we'll explain that. We've got our furniture bolts with a washer on these four slots here. And those correspond, of course, to the uh, T-nuts that are pressed into the rails. Now, because these are slotted, that means that they will move parallel up and down. Makes it a lot easier to adjust your height. The center rod, is essentially used to tie everything together to keep this from bowing. Now your real wide feet on that are going to take a lot of the bow out of this. This will just help when you're clamping up. First step. Final step in, in setting up your jig is to go ahead and get the tape mounted onto it. a bit overhanging here and I'll show you why in just a second. Now if you're putting this tape down, go ahead and push on it all the way along. Make sure that we've got that tape activated and well secured. Because this is a permanent jig, we're going to do one other thing that we don't normally do, and that's I'm going to take and staple that on. Give it one more, I think it didn't really get it on that one. And that just makes certain that 
when we're putting the jig in that we aren't going to be able to snag and pull that off. That's it. So let's go ahead and mount a board. So we've got a piece here we're going to be doing some cutting on. This is just a cutting board. Start by going ahead and putting your cutting board in on one side. And we're going to go ahead and just push that up against it. And we're going to tighten this groove. We're just going to move it over to where it stops. We're not actually putting any force on that. And then go ahead and spin your wing nut in. You're going to tighten that wing nut down, make sure that it's good and secure. We're going to follow up, do that on the other end, do the exact same thing. Make sure that that nut is just coming up and then tighten this up. What this does is essentially set the width of the jig at the base so that it'll go in and out of the machine and go smoothly in and out, won't jam so that these are, are set parallel to each other. Now we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and bring this up. And just temporarily, I'm just going to go ahead and tighten that up just to keep this in place. Now you notice on the far side, we just have a nut. <clears throat> we'll talk a little bit more about that. Let's grab anything that's flat, go ahead and use that. We want to essentially make sure that we have this board parallel with this top surface, okay? So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we've got that secured. And then we just go ahead and tighten that up. And then we can go ahead and loosen that up and then do the same thing on this. Bring it up to where we're actually pushing it down with the board so we know that we've actually got it right up at the surface. Come on back, make sure you're doing it the same. Just because these come up parallel doesn't mean they're gonna be perfectly parallel. You can still adjust a little bit with them. And do go ahead and just to tighten them all down. Just make sure that nothing moves. The main point of the jig is everything is tight. Nothing has any play in it. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and use our clamps. Now, now with uh, these adjustments, when you're assembling these, there's the little spacer piece. So the spacing is up towards the top. So these holes are towards the bottom. Okay. And those holes are sized so that you actually have to thread them into the spacer. So go ahead and thread them in. And the result will be a really good, snug, tight system. So we have two of those, a left and a right. Back this one back in here. You want to essentially secure these as close to the, uh, or screwed back as far as you can. They will extend out a couple of inches. We're just going to go ahead and slip that in right there. Just use a wing nut. And well, if I can put the wing nut in, go. That'll just secure that in. They come with a uh, just a five millimeter Allen wrench, and we can go ahead and cinch that in. Now, this is the point where you want to be sure to clamp the board using these two top pieces. So essentially those are going to make sure that that top is good and snug uh, and keep this piece from being able to push everything out. So that'll essentially make sure that everything stays locked up good and tight. If needed, you can go ahead and use both clamps. Sometimes one is sufficient. There's never a problem with over clamp. That makes your board very well secured. There is no play, no way that that can move around. 
here. Anchored up here to three and a half inches from the head. Good idea to go ahead and measure your jig, make sure exactly what your measurements work out to. I'll also notice that there are additional slots uh, here and here that we can shift this rod to um, if it's in the way when we're clamping or you need additional support on something that you're clamping up. And then insert the jig and run the project just like you would any other board.